Hello dear students, myself CMA Padmaja Buzruk. I will discuss accounts of joint stock companies. Please go to study note number 1, accounting of shares and debentures. I will discuss illustrations on buyback of equity shares. Go to illustration 26, fresh issue of shares for the purpose of buyback. Alpha Company Limited has paid up equity share capital of rupees 20 lakhs in 2 lakh shares of rupees 10 each. It resolved to buy back 50,000 equity shares at rupees 15 per share. For this purpose, it issued 20,000 12% preference shares of 10 each at par payable along with application. The company has to its credit Rs. 2,50,000 in securities premium account and Rs. 10 lakh in general reserve account. The company utilized the general reserve. Pass necessary journal entries. 50,000 equity shares company has bought back at Rs. 15. Face value of equity share is Rs. 10. That means these shares are bought back at premium. And for the purpose of buyback, company has issued 12% preference shares. An entire amount on these preference shares is received with application. First journal entry is to show issue of preference shares. Bank account debit 2 lakh to preference share application account debit 2 lakhs. This is nothing but application money due on 20,000 preference shares at rupees 10 each. Preference share application account debit to 12% preference share capital account. Preference share application money transferred to preference share capital account entire money is received along with application. So net effect is bank account debit to preference share capital account. Next entry is to show buyback of equity shares at premium. Equity share capital account debit 5 lakhs, 50,000 into 10. Premium on buyback account debit 2 lakhs 50,000, 50,000 into 5 to equity shareholders account 7 lakhs 50,000 and equity shareholders account debit to bank 7 lakh 50,000. So if you see equity shareholders account, 1 debit and 1 credit. Now if you observe here in this particular question, fresh preference shares are issued for the purpose of buyback. When company has bought back equity shares, 5 lakhs is debited to capital and when fresh shares are issued, 2 lakhs is credited to preference capital. So capital debit 5 lakhs, capital credit 2 lakhs, net effect is only 3 lakh is debited to capital and that amount gets transferred to CRR. Securities premium account debit to premium on buyback. Securities premium has 2,50,000 that is to be used for adjustment of premium on buyback account. Premium on buyback account gets closed here. General reserve account debit to capital redemption reserve account. Out of face value of shares bought back which is 5 lakhs. Only 3 lakh is to be transferred to capital redemption reserve account because company has issued 12% preference shares for the purpose of buyback whose value is rupees 2 lakhs. Now we will see illustration 27. Following was the balance sheet of Diamond Limited as at 31st March 15 rupees are in lakhs. 10% redeemable preference shares of 10 each fully paid 2500 
equity shares of 10 each fully paid 8000 then you have capital redemption reserve securities premium general reserve profit and loss account 9% debentures sundry creditors sundry provisions total of liabilities is 26900 on assets fixed assets investments cash at bank other current assets total is 26900 on 1st April 15, the company redeemed all of its preference shares at a premium of 10% and bought back 25% of its equity shares at rupees 15 per share. Just now we have seen balance sheet. Preference shares are 2500. It is redeemed at 10% premium. So, amount required for repayment of preference shareholders is 2500 plus 10% 10 of 2500 which is 250. Total amount required for redemption of preference capital is 2750. And 25% of equity shares, total equity shares are 800, 25% of 800 is 200. 200 equity shares are bought back at 15 per share. So 200 into 15, 3000 rupees company needs for the purpose of buyback. In order to make cash available, the company sold all, all investments for 3150 lakhs and raised a bank loan amounting to rupees 2000 lakhs on the security of company's plant. All rupees are given in lakhs. As per balance sheet, value of investment is shown as 3000 and they have sold investment as 3150. So there is profit on sale of investment which will get transferred to profit and loss account. And they have raised bank loan of 2000 lakhs. Pass journal entries of all above mentioned transactions including cash transactions and prepare company's balance sheet immediately thereafter. First journal entry is to be passed for sale of investment and loan raised. So we'll just go through these journal entries. Don't forget to mention on top rupees in lakhs. Bank account debit 3150 to investments 3000 to profit and loss account 150. They have sold investments and the profit on sale of investment is to be transferred to profit and loss account. They have raised bank loan. So bank account debit to bank loan is next journal entry. Next entry is to show redemption of preference share capital. When company repays back preference capital to preference shareholders, the word used is redemption. But when company repays back equity capital to equity shareholders, the word used is buyback. So for preference capital, redemption word is used. And for equity capital, buyback of equity word is used in case of repayment of capital to shareholders. 10% redeemable preference share capital account debit 2500. Premium on redemption of preference shares 250 to preference shareholders account 2750. So if you go back to question you will get this 2500 and redemption is at 10% premium and that is the reason why you have got 250 premium on redemption of preference share. Preference shareholders to bank 2750 and premium on redemption of preference shares account is to be adjusted from securities premium. Securities premium account debit to premium on redemption of preference shares. Securities premium account is having rupees 800 balance as per balance sheet. Out of that, 
टू फिफ्टी इज यूज फॉर प्रीमियम ऑन रिडम्शन ऑफ प्रेफरेंस शेयर सो एट हंड्रेड माइनस टू फिफ्टी फाइव फिफ्टी बैलेंस रिमेन्स इन सिक्योरिटीज प्रीमियम अकाउंट आफ्टर ट्रांसफर टू प्रीमियम ऑन रिडम्शन ऑफ प्रेफरेंस शेयर्स नेक्स्ट एंट्री इज बाय बैक ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर्स इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल अकाउंट डेबिट टू थाउजेंड प्रीमियम ऑन बाय बैक अकाउंट डेबिट वन थाउजेंड टू इक्विटी शेयर होल्डर्स थ्री थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर्स दे हैव रीपर्चेस्ड सो टू हंड्रेड इक्विटी शेयर्स एट टेन फेस वैल्यू इज टेन एंड फाइव रुपीज इज प्रीमियम विच विल गेट ट्रांसफर टू प्रीमियम ऑन बाय बैक सिक्योरिटीज प्रीमियम हैज ओनली फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी रुपीज बैलेंस बिकॉज आउट ऑफ एट हंड्रेड सम अमाउंट वी हैव ऑलरेडी ट्रांसफर टू प्रीमियम ऑन रिडम्शन ऑफ प्रेफरेंस शेयर विच इज टू फिफ्टी सो रिमेनिंग फाइव फिफ्टी यू कैन यूज for buyback of equity shares securities premium account debit 550 general reserve account debit 450 to premium on buyback premium on buyback is 1000 securities premium account is having only 550 so 1000 minus 550 450 to be taken from general reserve it is balancing figure Next entry is transfer to CRR Capital Redemption Reserve Account. General Reserve Account debit to Capital Redemption Reserve Account four thousand five hundred. This is nothing but two thousand equity share capital, which they have bought back, and two thousand five hundred preference share capital, which they have redeemed. Total is four thousand five hundred, which is to be transferred to Capital Redemption Reserve Account. Equity shareholders account debit to bank three thousand. That is how these entries are to be passed. Notes to the accounts you have to prepare because they have asked you to prepare balance sheet. Rupees are in lakhs. first notice share capital issued subscribed and paid up capital is 6000 if you go back to question redeemable preference shares 2500 entire 2500 is redeemed and for equity shares out of 8000 2000 equity capital is bought back So eight thousand minus two thousand six thousand will remain in equity share capital account. Note number two is reserves and surplus. Capital redemption reserve one thousand is as per balance sheet plus four thousand five hundred, which is transferred to capital redemption reserve account from general reserve. General reserve is one zero five zero. As per Balance sheet general reserve is having six thousand. You have used four fifty for premium on buyback and four thousand five hundred for transferring it to CRR. So remaining amount is one zero five zero. Six thousand minus four fifty minus four thousand five hundred is one zero five zero. Profit and loss account. As per balance sheet, it is three hundred. And if you see profit on sale of investment, you have got one fifty. So total is four fifty. So this is three hundred plus one fifty, which is four fifty. Total of reserves and surplus is seven thousand. long term borrowings 9% debentures as per balance sheet and 2000 bank loan they have raised so total is 7000 note number 4 short term provisions sundry provisions 1000 it is as per balance sheet 
नोट नंबर एक्चुअली इट शुड बी नोट नंबर्स आर रॉन्गली गिवन टेंजिबल एसेट्स फिक्स्ड एसेट्स इट इज गिवन इन बैलेंस शीट टेंजिबल एसेट्स आर फोर्टीन थाउजेंड वंस दीज नोट्स आर प्रिपेर्ड यू कैन प्रिपेयर बैलेंस शीट बैलेंस शीट ऑफ डायमंड लिमिटेड एज एट द डेट रुपीज इन लैक्स फर्स्ट इज इक्विटी एंड लाइबिलिटीज एंड टू इज एसेट्स अंडर इक्विटी एंड लाइबिलिटीज शेयर कैपिटल नोट नंबर वन सिक्स थाउजेंड रिजर्व एंड सरप्लस नोट नंबर टू सेवन थाउजेंड लॉन्ग टर्म बोराइंग्स नोट नंबर थ्री सेवन थाउजेंड ट्रेड पेएबल्स टू थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड नोट इज नॉट प्रिपेयर डायरेक्टली टेकन फ्रॉम ओपनिंग बैलेंस शीट शॉर्ट टर्म प्रोविजन्स नोट नंबर फोर वन थाउजेंड टोटल इज ट्वेंटी थ्री थ्री हंड्रेड नोट नंबर फाइव टेंजिबल एसेट्स फोर्टीन थाउजेंड जस्ट नाउ वी हैव सीन कैश एंड कैश इक्विवेलेंट वन जीरो फाइव जीरो आई विल शो यू हाउ इट हैज कम अदर करंट एसेट इट इज एज पर ओल्ड बैलेंस शीट ओपनिंग बैलेंस शीट एट टू फाइव जीरो Fixed assets and other current assets, no change, but cash and cash equivalent one zero five zero. How it has come? That we'll see now. Cash at bank one six five zero. Opening cash balance. Then three one five zero is received. Add this. Two thousand is also received. Three one five zero is received by selling investment. Two thousand loan is taken. Then twenty seven fifty is paid to preference shareholders. It is to be deducted. And three thousand is paid to equity shareholders. That is also to be deducted. so balance figure you will get as 1050 so opening cash and bank 1650 plus received on sale of investment 3150 plus bank loan 2000 minus payment to preference shareholders 2750 minus payment to equity shareholders 3000 total amount of cash and cash equivalent which is closed in balance is 1050 we have seen illustrations on buyback of equity shares thank you